Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over something uh, that a couple of people asked me about and that is how to find profitable items to flip on GE Tracker. Because a lot of people are noticing that um, if you use the, the flip finder tab, a lot of the items that show up near the top are, well, they're viewed by a lot of people. The site's growing, more people are becoming aware of it and the items get contested a bit more because they show up at the top for everyone. Now the way get to get around that is by using the filters as well as a couple other uh, ways you can kind of find more unique flips to yourself. Uh, for anyone that's not aware, GE Tracker is a website that is kind of sponsoring me and uh, they have uh, a lot of tools to help you find profitable flips in RuneScape and the link will be in the description there. Uh, shameless promotion, I'll get money if you uh, sign up through my link, blah 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 blah. Okay, uh, so if we jump into, um, let's say the uh, highest margin tab. So we're showing right now uh, the highest margins in RuneScape I'm not really sure why the twisted bow isn't at the top, uh, that's a little weird, uh, but you can see the ancestral hat is showing a 4 mil GP margin, uh, which it might be true, but not everyone for one can flip this item because they might not have enough money, and uh, a lot of people will see this near the top of their screen. And uh, you can see also another important factor is to actually look at the item and see that well, this seems very strangely low at the time, so this might not be an actual 4 mil flip. Anyway, that might be for another video. So if we go back to the highest margin tab, what we're going to do is filter the items. So we come over here to the filter items page, we're shown uh, about, well, I guess 10 different filters. The main ones I use are the price minimum and price maximum, and the buying quantity min, and uh, the selling quantity minimum is good as well. Um, sometimes use the maximum, but not as much and um, the buy price age is useful but I usually don't touch those too much and uh, I'm not really sure what these do to be honest um, but we'll go ahead and just put a minimum price in so say you're looking for an item between 0 and 1 mil and uh, let's just have a look at that so it's going to populate now with um, of these 283 items here uh, 200 of them are under 1 mil and it's going to show you the best flip out of all of them now the Arcus Hood seems to have 108k margin, which is crazy uh, for the item, uh, which is a, another filter needs to kind of be put on here, but we're just doing a quick look at it first. So let's just have a look down to the day here, and, um, and we can see that the item doesn't really trade a lot, so the margin could be skewed a lot. Uh, might still be worth doing, because you might be able to pick up some, but uh, we might want to filter it down more. So if we go back to our filter here, uh, now we want to also add in a buying quantity minimum. What this is going to do is going to get rid of all those obscure items. Uh, I put it at least five. Uh, five will tell me at least some are traded every hour pretty well and uh, helps you narrow down items like this that might be good to snag but if you're not really looking for that type of flip might not be the best. So after the update it's showing the Elder Chaos Hood near the top, Band of Steel Hides and these are items I have done in the past and do work pretty well. Another thing with, worth noting is uh, the G limit will be displayed here if it's uh, been verified, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, so let's just have a look at the Elder Chaos Hood. Uh, so we can see with about 5 traded every hour, there's about 100 uh, to 200 traded a day, which is totally fine. You probably flip a couple of these every hour um, and get maybe a 30k margin, which would be pretty good. Uh, another thing I do is once I've uh, made a search like this, narrowed down some items, I pretty much always just add them to my favorited list. Because uh, that will give me a bigger um, searching pool of items uh, later on. So, I mean, they don't have to be all good items, but I'm still going to add them on here because it'll let me search through all these items later as opposed to just the uh, 200 or 250 that the, this tab has. Next up, we're going to go to the high volume tab. Uh, now, for this, I filter a little bit different, uh, obviously, because the items don't tend to be very expensive. Now, the, high, the best filter I find for here is uh, mostly the buying quantities because the price usually isn't very high and most people can afford the item uh, it's just whether or not um, you want to but that being said I will still use this filter because I do see some merit in doing it uh, so let's say we just want to find a an item that's maybe only between 200 and 500 uh, we're going for a pretty small margin and we want at least 10,000 traded a day or um, per hour sorry 
and that looks good and then we'll save the filter and we'll see what comes up all right so uh there we go so the diamond bolt e seems to be near the top now this has 73,000 traded per hour uh, and an 8 gp margin now obviously for any item especially in the high volume tab you're just better off going and checking it yourself after um, but still the idea is there so uh, the diamond bolts you could flip uh, well the G limits not there so that's what's really useful when there is a limit because it really quickly shows you uh, what the limit is on the item uh, roughly if the margin is going to be good again you definitely want to change that um, but it gives you some good ideas and once again I'm just going to add them all to my favorited list and now just for another test, I'm going to come over to the GE Limit tab uh, because it does have uh, some different items there than the other tab does. And we'll just do another search. Let's try minimum. Uh, say we want a little more expensive item here. Um, although since there's a limit on them, they might not be such expensive items. But let's try between 500k and 5 mil. <coughs> and we'll do a minimum buying quantity of uh, 10 this time. And then a minimum selling quantity of 10 as well and we'll see what that filters down to all right we actually decided to change the buying limit to five uh, or so the buying quantity so now we're left with the Ceridome and dehyde boots as our number one uh, flip which uh, might be kind of good let's have a look has a limit of 125 which is pretty nice on an item that's this expensive and it says it has a 30k margin now we can look down to the day and see how many roughly are traded uh, per hour maybe 10 or 15 an hour. Uh, if we go into the day, we can see how much are traded a day. So like hmm, 100 to 300 more recently. And uh, yeah, you could easily get uh, probably a mil if you manage to flip all these. You need a lot of starting cash, but anyway, you get the idea. And lastly for the tabs, we're gonna go to the favorite item tab. Now this isn't really set up until you've favorited a bunch of items. Uh, of course, you can put your favorite items there for sure if you just wanna actually look at the items you do all the time. Uh, but for that, you could just use the search function as well. Uh, what I'd like to do is just add a crap load of items to my favorited pages, and then it gives you um, a lot of leeway to see what the item, like you have a, a bigger searching pool to look through your items. Now, the filter is not currently working on this page, and I have brought that up with the owner, so hopefully that will actually get added in the next day or two. Uh, but once you do have the filter available, you will be able to add a ton of uh, items to your favorited items page and then filter through those. So you can actually kind of make a custom uh, pool of items you're going to filter through. But for now, I have about 350 items added, and then we can just filter using these top bars here, which are still useful, not as good. But uh, So if we look at, say, the approximate profit, uh, twist the bows at the top, prayer scroll, all the new items pretty well. Uh, but you can still get an idea of what items might be profitable just from uh, these column filter kind of things. But again, hopefully the actual uh, inbuilt filters will be added pretty soon. And very last, uh, another feature that is probably kind of hidden to most and is going to be extremely useful for those who are using a free-to-play account is actually in your account settings, you can add a F2P filter onto your entire account. So it's kind of like a free-to-play setting. So we've gone and turned it on. It's just under account and then under account settings and it'll just be called uh, free-to-play filter or something like that. And now all the tabs, uh, except for your favorite items tabs, will include only free-to-play items excluded from the pay-to-play items. So if we have a quick look at the flip finder now, if we go to suggested items, you notice that they are all free-to-play. Uh, highest margins is really useful if you're a free-to-play flipper. Uh, right now the green D. Oh, all right, no, so we still got some filters on. So we'll take the filters off just for now. And everything I've shown you will work exactly the same for free to play items. It's just going to be less profitable items because they're free to play. But you can see here the Gilded Two Handed Sword is a free to play item. It has a 190k margin on it. Uh, so extremely useful for those who are flipping in free to play. Works for all the tabs as well, uh, except for the uh, Favorited Items tab. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found uh, some useful information here. I really didn't know about that free to play. Uh, setting which can be extremely useful for other people who aren't actually members at the time and uh, if you want to see more uh, videos on G Tracker, definitely leave the video a like so I know and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video